Uh, hi everyone. I'd like to begin by asking you a question. Does anybody know what the Vietnam War was actually all about? Don't worry about it. Neither did half the American soldiers fighting it. Well, in this video, I'm gonna try and break it down into its simplest terms for you. Uh, I'm also gonna be visiting Kuchi tunnels and checking out some of the tactics used by the Viet Cong um, to try and protect their country against uh, the Americans during the Vietnam War. I don't condone or try and glorify war in any form or manner, any war that is. And I'm making this video in the hope that people will realize some of the atrocities and wasted lives caused by war and hopefully never make the same stupid mistake again. In 1941, Ho Chi Minh formed the Viet Minh, a guerrilla army made up of communist soldiers and democratic soldiers. And in the late 1940s, they began to build the underground tunnels, later to be known as the Ho Chi Minh Trail, and today better known as the Ku Chi Tunnels. These were mainly built to fight off the Japanese rulers and the French colonialists trying to take over the country. Ho Chi Minh was a great leader and all he really wanted was for Vietnam to have full independence without any outside influences. He desperately needed the help of the Chinese and unfortunately this meant becoming involved with communism. In 1954 the French tried to recapture Vietnam where the French were decisively defeated. It was decided that Vietnam would be divided and democratic elections would be held under international supervision. In 1959, Ho Chi Minh became the president of North Vietnam and he officially formed the People's Liberation Armed Forces, later to become better known as the Viet Cong. In the early 1960s, the Americans started to panic as they could see the fast spread of communism and through the dominoes effect, they thought this could eventually affect the whole world. They began giving financial support and military advisors to train the Viet Minh soldiers in the South. On the 2nd of August 1964, North Vietnamese patrol torpedo boats attacked the USS Maddox in the Gulf of Tonkin. This was the excuse the Americans were looking for and in 1965 they began dropping bombs on North Vietnam on a mission codenamed Rolling Thunder. This was the beginning of the Vietnam War. Ku Chi. Ku Chi. So the name Ku Chi, it starts from a kind of tree. That tree called Ku Chi. So we had Ku Chi tree right here. So before in this area, there were a lot of Ku Chi tree here. And the local they named this area Ku Chi. Right. But today, there are only two trees left. There are only two of them. Because this tree is poisonous. It's poisonous. It's killed a lot of people before. So the law code has said that if they let this kind of tree grow, it's dangerous for them to decide to cut off all the tree. So this kind of tree, you know, they have poison all over the tree. Like you eat the leaf and the seed of the fruit, you would die immediately. Really dangerous. So the law code, they decided to build like a wall 
surround that tree. Maybe I want to surround that tree because like there are people who wants to kill themselves. They just go to the tree and they eat the leaf as the fruit and the seeds and lots of people die. And the law called the builder wants to surround that tree so nobody can come close to that tree now. So if you come here to this area and you ask the local the way to go to see the cool tea tree, they will not show you. They'd be like, why you ask? You want to die or what? They will not show anyone to go to see that tree. So the name cool tea is from that kind of tree. So cool tea right here before it was a one zone. This one right here before it was a one zone and used for the Viet Cong to fight against the Americans. Have you ever heard of Viet Cong? Viet is Vietnamese, Cong is a communist, Vietnamese communist. So we use the term Viet Cong to describe that. As long as they are communists, we just call them Viet Cong. And the tunnel right here, we use by them to fight against that, right? So we started to build this tunnel around 1946, 1947, and finished in 1967. So that took them almost 20 years to build the tunnel. And then in 1967, we had like 220 kilometers long of the tunnel. It covered the area of 170 kilometers, right? And the tunnel right here before, there are three different levels. The first level, three meters deep. The second level, three meters, six meters. And the last level, around 10 meters deep, right? And in the first level to the second level, we have a secret entrance. From the second level to the third level, we have the secret entrance as well. And the last level of the tunnel connected straight to Saigon River, right? So also this tunnel, you can just go straight to Cambodia. You can go to Cambodia by the tunnel because we are close to Cambodia border, right? And the tunnel right here before, you know, it's enough for 12,000 people. Enough for 12,000 people. But only 2,000 people can live in the tunnels at the same time. Only 2,000 because inside the tunnels, not enough oxygen for them to breathe, not enough oxygen. So they had to design this one. This is what we call air ventilation. Air ventilation. It just looks like a termite, an ant's nest, but actually it's not. It's an air ventilation. So the one right over there, this is a termite. But this one right here is air ventilation. They just look similar, but they are two different things. Right. So the vehicle they use a bamboo pipe to put straight to the tunnel to get oxygen from the outside. So there is a little horn right here, right, to get oxygen. So before Americans, they know that the Viet Cong, the Kuchi people, they live here underground inside the tunnels. So they have always wanted to find them out. By the 1960s, the systematic network of underground tunnels had stretched to just under 250 kilometers, from the Saigon suburbs to the Cambodian border. No longer were they just a quick hideaway. They now contain supply depots, hospitals, and even military headquarters. When the Americans finally did find out about the tunnels, I mean, these tunnels had been around for 20 years. Uh, didn't anyone give them a little nudge and say, hey, by the way, guys, if you're trying to figure out why the Viet Con managed to appear and disappear like ghosts, well, it's because they've got these little tunnels underneath you. And uh, yeah, that's what they've been using. No, nah, no one told them. When they did figure it out in the end, 
they created a new platoon called the Tunnel Rats. These guys were normally around five foot six inches tall and uh, they were coerced into doing the job by being made to feel that it was a lot better job than being on the front line. How wrong they could be. A Tunnel Rats job was to be lowered head first into the tunnels armed with only a flashlight, a knife, a uh, pistol and explosives. So, tunnel right there, the original one. So the original one, without cement, no protection, like the one that you just went in, they have cement, something to protect, stop it from collapse, but the original one, no, it's wrong. And this one is, we have like the uh, air ventilation, the air ventilation, the whole thing. Little did they know what they were crawling into. At any set time, they could become face to face with booby traps, snakes, giant centipedes, scorpions, and spiders. And worst case scenario, the Viet Cong himself. Like here is it's the secret entrance. It's like the way to go into the tunnel. So if you want to go to the tunnel right over there, you need to go through the entrance like this. So it's really small, like 25 centimeter wide and 35 centimeter long. Very small, we just decide for the Viet Cong, for the Ku Chi people. They had to make sure that the Americans won't fit, they could not go inside. That's why it's really small. And this one is made out of jackfruit tree. It's from jackfruit. Because uh, for jackfruit, this kind of tree is like this. So when it rains, the water just go in there. That's the water. And then they expand it. Then they fit together. And the water could not go inside. So that's why they use this to prevent the water going there. So from this entrance, they can just go to the, the fighting bunker right over here. So we've got a little bunker here. Uh, and they have yeah. the little home down there, so they can put the gun out here for fighting, mm. for shooting. Right. As uh, estimated, there were like 300 dogs who were killed here in Kuchi. The dog would just start smelling the yeah. ventilator. So now he's going to show you how to go into this. Uh, Turn off. Okay, okay. And you can do this later. Oh. In front of yourself. He has the same size of the bit. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yeah. You can go and then go to the fighting bunker or go, go see the fighting bunker. Oh, it's not coming out this way. We <laughs> <laughs> have another entrance around here. Oh. Oh. Ah. <laughs> When you step on this side, at the trap, another side would come and it would step into the bottom. And this one we call the feet trap. I'm gonna put this inside. Yes. So this trap will step into the feet like this. And they just could not take their feet out just because of the surrounding right. And this one right here we call the ampe trap. Oh. Ampe trap. I just have this trap right here. And I will step into the ampe when they fall down. And the next one we call the window trap. The window trap. So so this trap it was like stuck into this part of the body. So and the rolly trap, the rolly trap, so this trap like um they got stuck right here. They got stuck mm. right here when they went down like like this and then just got stuck at the end. Right. And this was on the sticky trap. So the trap is like this. Right. Trap is like that. When somebody step on it, they will go. Right. <laughs> they have uh, a bigger entrance here. Uh, so this one is for tourists, like yeah. big for everyone. Does it go the same yeah. way? 
った。おいしそう。あんまいいよ。Yeah. Like to confuse the American, they didn't know the which way the v e h i c l e they go, whether they go this way or they go this way. I like guess to confuse them, right? It's a normal, it's like it, but in the w a t e r they put the s a n d a l like it, and that's how they wear a s a n d a l right? So let's just compare this to a normal one. This is a normal one, right? And this is the special one, right? The difference is right here, the direction. Yeah, yeah. So this kind of sandal, you know, you can wear it for like decades, 10, 20 years. Yeah, yeah. But it's not comfortable. The Americans they use dogs right here, dogs to come and smell the people on the ground. You know, lots of people living inside, so strong smell. And when the dogs they came here, they smell, they started barking. Because the smell was really strong, they started barking, and then Americans they found out this one, right? And after that, they just used the helicopter to bring water from Saigon River, come into this tunnel. They're trying to make this tunnel like flooded, but it was not working. It was not working because you know the last level of the tunnel it connected straight to Saigon River. So when Americans they pump water, the water just goes to Saigon River. So it's kept. It was not working, and after using water. Ah,、uh, not working. And then they use poison gas. They use poison gas to spray into the tunnel. So at this time, people died because they couldn't breathe up because of the poison gas. And then the Viet Cong, the cool TV people, they just discuss together to find a solution to stop the dog from barking. And then the Viet Cong, they use chili and pepper powder. They use chili and pepper powder to put inside the air ventilation to stop the dog from barking, but it was not working. Because you know, chili and pepper, they were spicy. They were spicy, and when the dogs they came, they smell. They started to sneeze, and then they bark. So one more time, Americans found out this one. And again, the Viet Cong again they got to gather together for another solution. And at last, they found the best solution. They found the best solution to deal with the dogs. So they use soap, soap which is for washing, soap that Americans they use, American soldier clothes, and the perfume that Americans they use. To put inside the air ventilation, because this smell it has the same smell with Americans, and when the dog they came they smell they thought this is American, and they didn't bark, and then they were safe for the Viet Cong for the Gu Chi people, right? Because before right here in Gu Chi, there were a lot of like U.S. Army base in this area, so when they use soap and so the perfume and after that they threw that away, and the Viet Cong they collected that to reuse, also to put in this air ventilation to deal with the dog, right? On April 30th, 1975, American troops, government officials, and civilians were forced to evacuate South Vietnam. Later that day, North Vietnamese tanks rolled through the gates of the presidential palace, taking siege of Saigon, later to be renamed Ho Chi Minh City. So, what were the Americans actually doing in South Vietnam? Had they seen an opportunity now that the French and the Japanese were no longer there? Did the USS Mattox really get attacked by North Vietnamese torpedo boats in the Gulf of Tonkin? And were the Americans really fighting a war against communism? If that was the case, then how could so many so-called intelligent people get it so wrong and cost the lives of over two million people? Thank you very much for watching. Thank <music> you.